and I think they're they're very very obviously powerful. And I mean, uh, this side specifically, I see it being huge on on strength style heroes, like you said, a Slardar or someone even like a Sven, uh, Sven who goes in there and he he has a, a decent amount of mana, not not decent amount of mana pool, but his abilities cost a decent amount of mana, so he could also use that mana regeneration regeneration as well. But good for going exactly. in and uh, charging in, in the front lines. I mean, this would be definitely be a core item on many many heroes, and I can already imagine it on so many heroes, like Windrunner, for example. Um, Gives you the mana regeneration you need, and so you can probably get to do it instead buy this instead of Ring of Basilius, because uh, you get more armor, you get more mana regen, and Windrunner is known as one of those used to pin one guy down as fast as he possibly can. So um, this is just basically made made item. This is great. This is uh, for single target gangs. I'm, I'm going to throw something interesting in the mix as well too. Um, Soul Ring. Um, with it, uh, with how, how will it actually work with the Medallion of Courage right now? Obviously, because you get the mana regen from this guy consistently, and it doesn't cost you health and it gives you extra armor. Do you think Soul Ring is still going to be an important item for people like ES, or they switch to things like this? Oh, I mean, it is, uh, Soul Ring is still um, mandatory on, man, on many strength casters, because um, it gives you the, the, the burst. It gives you the, the ability to do it. Mana regeneration, yeah, 50% mana regeneration sounds a lot, like a lot, but uh, in the early games you don't have any ma much, uh, you don't have, mm, oh come on, you don't have um, a high mana pool anyway. Um, so this, it will regen over time, this is true, so you basically online this is strong. Um, but um, for the burst, like, uh, and Earthshaker, who's able to pump out a uh, second fissure and the enemy who doesn't like really expect it. Um, so Sorin is definitely still a, an insanely strong item. Um, it might uh, remove Sorin from Alchemist, because Alchemist has low armor anyway, so he need, really, really needs the armor. Mm -hmm. um, and it, uh, the, the minus armor um, stacks with his cloud. Um, so it will be interesting to see how that um, how that goes. Um, but on, on strength casters who are supposed to be doing burst and um, like a few nukes, a storing is still a very very important item. I don't think it will disappear. All right, um, we're getting our third new item here now. Before everyone says, "Oh my God, it's OP! It's OP!" You can only buy one of them every ten minutes. <laughs> Just going to establish <laughs> this one right now. Um, but it is called the Smoke of Deceit. Basically, it's a frickin' Potom ulti in a bottle for a hundred gold. It's insane. So, uh, basically, okay. We'll read through this very, very slowly for everyone out there who's slow like me. Uh, places a buff on all allied players controlled in, in 900 AoE, makes them invisible, grants 10% 10 10 bonus move speed, and prevents them from appearing on a mini-map to enemy players. If you get within 900 AoE of an enemy hero or tower, the buff wears off. So not exactly a Potom one, but it's still pretty damn awesome to move around undetected. Um, especially if you go into Roshan. Um, if you attack Creeps or Roshan, it then dispels. Of course, you have to attack him for that to actually happen, though. So, so, how the hell would you use this in a massive, massive battle when you know you have six of them for every single match? That's for a 60-minute match as well. Actually, that's a 50-minute match, but still. My first question um, is, is there a fade time on this? Is it instant or is there a fade time? It's instant. I tested it. It's going to be instant. Okay. Then, yeah, that's powerful. <laughs> it is powerful, but I'm still not... Um, hmm, I'm not quite... Uh, I tested it, but somehow it, it says it wears off, but apparently it, it is not just wearing off. It just dispels very, very fast. Um... And so you basically the how you would use it is based uh, to to move around unseen on the map. It will not be one of the big things which you can use in absolute full team gank, um, but it it gives you the ability to to run around undetected, for example, in the enemy forest. Or if you if you are attempting to Roshan and you you use smoke of deceit and you run through the observer was so they have no idea where you are. So you, they didn't even see you going to Roshan. So this would be this would be more interesting, I think. But it's it's definitely it's definitely a great item. Um, so you, there are three um, in in store and at the start, and you can buy all three. Um, mm -hmm. Very very fast. Um, and you you would also want to buy it um, as fast as po as you possibly can, because so then it replenishes faster. Um, it would be interesting to see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to see um, how, how the top teams actually use it too. Like, we, we can sit here and go, you know, we, we want to do this, but 
I don't know, let's just watch a match by LGD SUTY and see what they do with it. Um, <laughs> because more than likely I think they're going to trend for an amazing strat from this. From this. Well, uh, I, I hope I'm proved wrong by, by a couple of the European teams, no offense against you guys. Um, and uh, they actually come up with this amazing, amazing thing you can actually do with it. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those items which I think has potential to be used. I just don't know if anyone's oh, going to find a, um, a perfect way or a very, very effective way of actually using it. Yeah. I, I honestly see it as more of a saving grace item rather than an offensive ganking tool. I see it more as, uh, okay, our carry is getting ganked right here. Let's quickly use it and try to allow him to get away as a result of using this item uh, type deal. Because um, I can definitely see, like, many instances. And I mean, you refer to the Potom Ultimate. I mean, obviously, that is used, that is used for that sometimes, I'm sure, as well. But, I mean, having this item in itself, you know, where it's only 100 gold costs and you can have three, like you said, from the very beginning, you're, you're a lot more susceptible and more likely to use it more frequently rather than using that long cooldown on a situation like that. So I think it could be a good savings grace item a lot more than people realize than, uh, than just pure offense. All right, we'll, we'll keep moving through because we're, we're kind of getting uh, caught down here now. Um, so we'll go through the rest of the, rest of the items. Blade Mail cooldown from 25 to 22. Uh, a little bit. Bloodstone is the big one which we uh, commented on before. So mana regeneration has been increased by 50% on that one. So it's now up to 200%. And the HP regen up from 6 to 8. Of course, we're expecting this to be for Krob. Um, yeah, Intercarries will probably make a comeback at some point. Um, currently, however, Lincoln's Fear is so, so strong. It is so strong and um, it, uh, so it normally is the, the first item to be built before you do the Bloodstone because Bloodstone does not add any stats, it just adds to your HP, uh, HP and mana pool. Um, so I'm not sure if I would buy it on Storm, I probably wouldn't because um, Lincoln's here and BKB are so much more important and then afterwards you, you would want the Hex. Yeah. <clears throat> so Bloodstone is one of those items which you want to have as early as possible, so you, so you can rack up the charges. But yeah, Crow, um, definitely, um, and the Lash Rock as well, I suppose. All right, so uh, we've, we also commented before, Chainmail being added towards the shop. That's obviously to support <coughs> our, um, our uh, Medallion of Courage uh, for that guy. Mm -hmm. um, Crystalis, crit, uh, crit chance being up by 5%. Um, Pipe of Insight, for some ungodly reason, has been made 100 bucks cheaper. Um, to 900. Um, it's ridiculous. It is. Um, <laughs> Kalka's uh, Pipe of Insight has already been one of the strongest items in the game. And one of these items which, which, which turned out to be a must buy for, um, for teams. And I, 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 do, I do kind of like it because it's going to promote pushing into the tower um, even a little bit earlier. Because that's like it's, it's the main reason I've seen a boar. It's like, okay, we're going pipe, we're pushing into the base. Tier 3 tower, here, here we come, kind of style. So I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit more aggressive and get people over that hump in towards the base and the racks as early on in the piece, because then we can have more fast-paced action Dota games, including the racks, not just outside Tier 1, Tier 2 towers. Um, it can actually have a little bit more into it. Um, okay, Mask of Death, life steal from 10 to 15%. Uh, I'm guessing that's carried through to the hood. Uh, not to the hood, um, to the helm. Oh well, yeah, I, I hope so. I, I'm not quite sure. I haven't tested it yet. Yeah. Um, give me a second, Toby. I'll, I'll be back in, in, in a few minutes. Cool. Uh, we're going to wrap it up anyway pretty soon as well, because uh, we've got Necromicon. Uh, bonus strength is gone up 6, 10, 14 uh, to 8, 12, 16. Uh, so a little bit more on that guy. And mana burn cooldown reduced in 20 seconds as well. So uh, well, welcome a little bit more to Beastmasters. Uh, great friend. Orb of Venom reduced in cost. Meh, by 50 bucks. Orca Malevolence, cooldown reduced from 25 to 18. Um, an item which we were talking about the other night, which is, I think it's going to be, like, the other night being last night when this, when this is released, an item which I think is now going to be put up there as well to actually pick up Windrunner. It's going to love the fact that it's actually down as well. Uh, Planeswalker's Cloak uh, increased in, in gold by 50 bucks. Don't know how that really affects how um, many item builds you actually have, or it'll slow down your... Um, your hood a little bit, but not that much. Quelling Blade reduce uh, cooldown from 10 to 5 seconds. Of course, that's for the chopping ability to take out trees, not actually for the percentage chance you get on the creeps, um, because obviously mm. that has no cooldown. Um, and then soul, bo soul boost, a mana increase from 50 to 100%. Um, HP increase regeneration from 2 to 4. And that's actually literally, obviously, what's tied into the Bloodstone, because you need to actually buy the soul booster. So the, the boost is actually coming from the booster, uh, funnily enough. But uh, that is literally the last item as well. Uh, gameplay cosmetics, because Conqueror has released a new image as well. 
so there's less heroes in this one. And uh, we'll see who can actually find the PA as well. PA is on here. I'm wondering if anyone's actually found him. So uh, you can have a bit of fun trying to find him out Let's as well. Let's talk about this next change. I want this change. Which, which, which one? Uh, the, uh, the, you, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, yes, hang on, sorry. There's a couple of things that have been changed to the gameplay itself. The main one is we've added a four minute cooldown to buyback. Mm -hmm. no, more, no more gold pooling. Um, have <laughs> enough for one, but you can't just continue to buy back. You're right, I think this is like one of the best changes we've actually seen. Like obviously we had the increase in money to actually buy back was, was lifted a hell of a lot. At which point people just had more money than gold anyway by that time. Um, yeah, anyway, so, uh, but yeah, to actually have that four minute cooldown, the chances of racks is actually going down earlier in the piece as well, or in that late game where you just can't push over, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a hell of a lot better. Yeah, well, okay. what else have we got? Updated hero icon representation minimap, which we talked about before. Creep vision has been decreased from 1100 to 850. I think that's actually going to stop the creeps from actually chasing you a hell of a lot more. Because you're going to lose that extra little bit of um, like vision. Um, and consumable items no longer automatically fuse with, with ones you don't own, except for wards. Um, this is, of course, on the courier when you fly them out. So if you have multiple TPs, they actually stay separated. And uh, will then actually go to the correct heroes instead of actually fusing onto the one person there too. Um, and then, of course, there's been a whole bunch of uh, different animations. Uh, the new model for Furion, which he kind of looks a bit gay, um, is there as well. Um, and there's been a couple of other animation changes as well. And removed a couple of bugs too, like... For some reason, someone thought buying an armlet um, was a wise, wise move, and it always triggers the last word. <laughs> Not the smartest thing you could ever do on him, um, but armlet was obviously uh, something they wanted to do, um, and that was, yeah, literally a couple of them there too. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's literally it for going through this one. So, um, thank you very much for actually tuning in for this one. Of course, we will continue to keep the live stream up. This is just for everyone out there who want to have a bit of a, a look back in at um, the changes. Um, into, uh, well, the, the changes uh, for the uh, new log. Of course, we are up to 6.70 now. be a while before this actually accepted competitively, but uh, we'll give it time. Two new heroes to look forward as well to, so uh, enjoy playing them in the pubs. And uh, obviously, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be back in a moment.